Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we have the final Apodracosis card coming, uh, getting revealed this morning for uh, a Crossover Breakers, I believe is the name of the, uh, the deck build pack. Um, we got everything else revealed like two weeks ago, or a week and a half ago, now we're getting the final card for them. It is a trap card, we knew it was most likely either going to be a monster at the beginning of the set, or a trap at the end, just because of uh, the way the cards were numbered, and it looks like it is a trap here. Uh, we'll take a look at it here. This basically puts us in a position where the only card we're waiting for is the final Malice card uh, in the archetype or in the in the box, um, and that should be a Link monster. So we'll, we'll we'll take a look at that. I think we'll probably get that next Wednesday. I think I have it on the calendar, which we'll take a look at by the way at the end of this video, the calendar, and see what we're expecting because I think we're literally like eight for eight on things being revealed on the exact day. Uh, but anyway, let's get into this. This is Apodracosis Eternal Recurrence of Trailokia. Um, the artwork is just is just everything everything we know. We've got Groudon down here. We've got Kyogre. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me get this here. Groudon down here. Kyogre up in the left, and Rayquaza uh, up on the right. But just covering all the bases. The uh, our uh, fire, our ground, or whatever earth, or ground, water, and sky. Cool. All right. Let's get into this thing. Let's talk about this card. Um, it's a normal trap card. You can only use both of its effects once per turn each. Uh, first effect says special summon one Apodracosis monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard, but return it to the hand during the end phase. That is not a bad effect at all. Um, the only problem is like the Apodracosis monsters, I don't think they really do much like on the opponent's turn by themselves. Um, if you already have one of the gates set up, this card does just like get one on the field to like pair with the gate to get their bonus effects um which is nice um but like i believe you need like the water guy to set up the bounce from uh the, the sea serpents um gate you know what i mean so like getting him in rotation there um i i i don't know but um the bouncing of the hand is actually probably a positive thing because they search for their gates by like putting like either discard but they search uh, for the gates by like being in hand basically so returning them to the hand does set you up to get the gate uh, back in rotation on the next turn so that i don't mind at all that's actually almost preferred over uh, actually being some kind of small restriction so um this is a, this is fine uh this is just isn't the kind of archetype there are decks where like summoning a monster in your archetype from deck on the opponent's turn is totally worth it i don't know if this is one of those archetypes uh, especially if you have to do it in trap form, which is just going to be maybe a little bit too slow. Second deck says you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target an Apodracosis continuous spell you control, or in your graveyard or banishment, place it on the bottom of the deck, then draw one card. I really like that this works even on a, an Apodracosis gate that's either in grave or banish as well. Uh, that just makes this card the like. It makes it, like, so free, right? If you have to give up one on field, that is what it is. But, like, maybe if you've already lost access to uh, the monster that pairs with it or something like that, then, like, the card may not be doing much for you. But, like, specifically if something already got removed and sent to Graveyard or or banished, this card just putting it back and getting you a free draw is is honestly kind of nice. Um, that's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty nifty effect uh, to keep those recycling and, and basically just be pr a pretty free draw more often than not um all in all though I, I think i end up in a same a similar similarly tough position as i did when um we first got apodracosis revealed and it's that like and I'm, I'm honestly still in that position right now like trying to evaluate the archetype is this going to be the kind of archetype where like there's going to be a small engine because because the gates work with their specific monster um is are we going to have to like play just one of the three in another deck uh or all three and a full package or is this enough to be like the actual core core of an archetype uh or, or like a, a competitive strategy you know what i mean it I am, i'm having a really hard time deciphering what the best way to play this or this deck is um and so it makes this card hard to evaluate because this seems like the kind of card where it would be more useful in a more pure variant right where you're definitely playing all three so you have the you know, option to summon any of the three uh, main monsters. I mean, technically, you, uh, you can summon the ritual off of this, right? 
I think you can just summon the ritual off of this. Um, but have, he doesn't really do much on the field, so I don't know why you'd want to summon him that way. Um, I, it's just it's just kind of hard to, to decipher. It's hard to it's hard to put my finger on the best way to play this deck. This seems like the kind of card that's better in the in like a more pure Apodracosis variant, or at least a heavier Apodracosis variant, rather than like a just this archetype being splashed as an engine into another strategy that's like the main core. It's hard to say. Um, but I don't think it's a terrible card, uh, right? Just summoning one of your archetypal monsters out of the deck, getting you a free draw basically later on. I think this card has some merits. I just, it's, I've just been having a lot of trouble uh, classifying what Apodracosis is really going to end up being. Um, but, you know, um, I'm sure you guys have done a little more testing than me out the gate so far, especially since I was away. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below on Apo this this card and also where Apodracosis lands for you. Like, wh where do you think that deck is going to find a home in? Uh, what do you think is, like, the most likely way people are going to try and utilize this deck? Because I do think the potential is there. I do think it has the potential to be part of some really powerful strategies in the, in the competitive scene. I just don't know exactly how and where. Um, so, love to hear you guys' thoughts on that, um, and on this card as well, if, uh, if this card actually is, is better than I'm kind of giving it credit for, um, love to hear your thoughts on that down below, but I'm at it for today, I will keep you updated on all things Yu-Gi-Oh! news, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things, uh, re you know, related to news, we do discussion videos, all that stuff, um, I will, I will bring you that as soon as any news is dropping waiting on that last mouse card and just taking a real quick leak uh, a look at the uh at the calendar here looking at this we are literally like what is this one two three four five uh six seven we are seven for seven on uh exact days when cards are getting revealed we are on the money uh so according to this if we stay on pace and, and nail everything we should get the last malice card next month uh next wednesday and then not much else other than that we're kind of waiting until uh September for any more actual news other than that we do have the ban list at the end of the month I, I put it on Monday that one is not a concrete prediction that one could come I have no idea exactly when they're going to drop that one but later in the later in the uh, after probably that last malice card any point I, I'd be ready for it um, but yeah uh, not much else but we have nailed this calendar thing it makes me kind of want to do it every month because because <laughs> uh, of just how on point we've been here uh, it's just fun to see and, and be ready for. But yeah, um, I'm out here for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Seen, if you want to see more stuff from me down the line, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.